Welcome everyone to the Lo-Fi Poly Side Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right. Lo-Fi is in low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be, global news show. Here we're going to talk about that famous question, what's going on in the world today? And it's Monday. Time for that messiness, that fast-paced weekend recap for you. The news, fresh off that press, coming at us from the BBC Middle East section. Iran vows revenge for Israeli attack on Natan's nuclear site. So what do we know for sure here? Well, over the past week, Iran and the U.S. started holding indirect talks to see about both getting back on board with that Iran nuclear deal. And Saturday, Iran announced and showed the world a new increased uranium enrichment plan. Sunday, an explosion at the nuclear plant was reported, which targeted the power-producing section of the plant, which would power the new uranium enrichment process. And Monday, Iran blames Israel. Sheesh, a lot can happen over the weekend, am I right? Well, we'll let you know what we know more coming up soon, because this is quickly developing. Although, we're not going to be talking speculation here. We'll keep you updated. Next up, source, the world of Reuters. Russian prison threatens to force-feed hunger-striking Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny, allies. Here's another one developing quickly. Within the past two weeks, pro-democracy leader in Russia, Alexei Navalny, was reported to have an illness in his lungs and was sent to the prison's infirmary. Last week, he started a hunger strike in prison. This week, he's been released from prison medical facilities, but they're threatening to begin force-feeding him because his weight is dropping very quickly and it's going to have adverse effects on his health. Keep your eyes on this one, people. This one is just getting started, too. And it's only Monday. But now, moving forward, because we never move on from anything. Source, NPR's Asia section. China fines Alibaba $2.8 billion for breaking anti-monopoly law. Ooh, really, where to begin on this one? First, if you're not sure who Alibaba is, you should check it out. It's one of the largest tech companies in the world. And in 2019, in China alone, mind you, they made $69 billion. And China has fined them 4% of that sum, equaling $2.8 billion for illegally eliminating competition in the market. And I'm going to go ahead and quote a piece from Alibaba's representatives that they put out right after this fine was implemented. Begin quote. The penalty issued today served to alert and catalyze companies like ours. It reflects the regulators' thoughtful and normative expectations towards our industry's development. It is an important action to safeguard fair market competition and quality development of internet platform economy. End quote. People, that's a company that was just fined $2.8 billion, and they are talking about the Chinese government there, basically thanking them for cleaning up the industry. What a peculiar Monday indeed. Let's switch speeds. And our following story comes from the Latin America section of the BBC. Guillermo Lasso, conservative ex-banker, elected Ecuador president. That's right, the runoff was yesterday and the results are in. Guillermo Lasso won the election with 52.4% of the vote and is the new president of Ecuador. And just in case you're wondering out there, his challenger, Andre Arras, did concede the election the very night of. Now you know. This was the third time Mr. Guillermo Lasso ran for president, and officially, he takes office at the end of May. We'll be keeping an eye out for him to see what he can bring to the table and how Ecuador develops moving forward. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the week, AP, World Section. Soviet cosmonaut made pioneering space flight 60 years ago. The date was April the 12th, 1961. The person was Soviet Union cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. The feat was being the first human being ever into space. Think about that, Lofi Nation. Today, 60 years ago, the first human being went into space. Think about it. It's only been 60 years since we've been physically outside of our planet. It's crazy. We're so young, so fresh to the space game. I mean, we're happy that we're all collecting rocks on Mars and and putting them together, and uh, we're going to go get them eventually, within the next 10 years, maybe, still developing that plan. I mean, what will we do in the next 60 years? Being Messy Monday and all one might think, we'll simply muck it up like we do much of everything down here on Earth. Though it doesn't have to be so. For every messy Monday, 
there's always a good news Friday. And for all the terrible things we do in the world, there are some pretty amazing things we do for each other. As you go out there for your week, take a chance and be amazing. Be the person that you truly are. Take a chance and make someone else's day a good day. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love and always the best. Pickering, signing off.